hello guys this is question 41 in our series and it says late Idi Amin Dada was from which of the following countries Idi Amin Dada was a Ugandan politician and military officer he was the president of Uganda from 1971 to 1979 so the answer to this question is option C which is Uganda Hello guys, this is question 42 in our series and it says the time zone operative in Nigeria is Well, Nigerian standard time is one hour ahead of the Greenwich Mean Time, which is GMT and Nigeria is in West Africa time zone, which is WAT and GMT, since we are one hour ahead of the Greenwich Mean Time to be written as GMT plus one or plus one g and c this means um greenwich mean time plus one or plus one gmt it can be written in any of this way in any formats like this so the answer to our question is option b hello guys this is question 43 in our most failed uni lorraine post me question for general paper series and it says which among the following does not belong to the group and we have option a which is brigadier option b is the colonel option c is the navy captain and option d is the group captain well to be able to answer this question we need to know what all these ranks are so colonel is a senior military officer rank below the brigadier and and general officer rank and the navy captain is a rank in the navy that is equivalent to the colonel also the group captain is a rank in the air force which is equivalent to the colonel so the answer to this question is a brigadier because it is higher than all the other options so the brigadier is a higher rank than the colonel and the two other options are also equivalent to the colonel so the answer to this question is option a hello guys this is the last question in our series and it says the upper legislative arm of the government in nigeria is headed by and we have option a which is the speaker option b president option c is leader and option d is secretary well the senate is the upper house of the nigerians by camera legislature the national assembly of nigeria is the lower house the senate is headed by the president of the senate so the answer of this question is option b unilorin positemi most failed general paper questions this question says how much was the total sale of a company if i the company sold 8,000 units of products A, each costing 25 Naira. I, I, this company has no other product line. Option A, I alone is sufficient, while I, I alone is not sufficient to deduce the answer. Option B, I, I alone is sufficient, while I alone is not sufficient. Option C, either I or I, I is sufficient. Option D, neither I nor I, I is sufficient. The statements given, that is I and I, I, does not provide enough details for us to answer this question. The question is asking how much was the total sale of a company, but the statement given here, that's I and I, I, does not provide much details for us to answer this question. So the correct answer to this question is option D. Neither I nor I, I is sufficient. So, option D. Unilorin Positemi most failed general paper questions. This question says, all the trees in the park are flowering trees. Some of the trees in the park are dogwoods. All dogwoods in the park are flowering trees. If the first two statements are true, the third statement is dash. Option A, true. Option B, false. 
Option C, uncertain. Option D, none of the above. And the correct answer to this question is option A, true. And this is because from the stated facts, we are told that all the trees in the park are flowering trees. And some of the trees in the park are dogwoods. So if some of the trees in the park are dogwoods and all the trees in the park are flowering trees, then this means that all the dogwoods in the park are flowering trees. So as stated earlier, the correct answer is option A. Unilorin Positemi must fill general paper questions. This question says, all the tulips in Zoe's garden are white. All the pansies in Zoe's garden are yellow. All the flowers in Zoe's garden are either white or yellow. If the first two statements are true, the third statement is dash. Option A, true. Option B, false. Option C, uncertain. Option D, none of the above. Now the correct answer to this question is option C, uncertain. And this is because, according to the question, if all the tulips in Zoe's garden are white and all the pansies in Zoe's garden are yellow, then the statement all the flowers in Zoe's garden are either white or yellow is uncertain because the question did not state that tulips and pansies are the only types of flowers in Zoe's garden. So this means that Zoe's garden may have other flowers with other colors. So option C, uncertain, is the correct answer. Unilorin Positemi must fill general paper questions. This question says, Fact 1. All drinks are beverages. Fact 2. All beverages are drinkable. Fact 3. Some beverages are red. If the first three statements are facts, which of the following statements must also be a fact? Statement 1. Statement I. Some drink mixes are red. I. I. All beverages are drink mixes. I. 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 All red drink mixes are drinkable. Option A. I only. Option B. I. I only. Option C, I and I, I, I only. Option D, none of the statements is a known fact. Now let's try to check each statement individually to see if it is a fact. So statement I, some drink mixes are red. Now from the stated facts in the question, we have all drink mixes are beverages and some beverages are red. Since drink mixes are beverages and some beverages are red, then the statement some drink mixes are red is a fact. So statement I is a fact. Now let's look at statement II. Statement II states that all beverages are drink mixes. And so we have the statement II, all beverages are drink mixes. Now let's go back to the question. From the stated facts, all drink mixes are beverages. Since the facts didn't state that all beverages are drink mixes, then this means that the statement all beverages are drink mixes is not a fact. So statement II is not a fact. Now let's look at the third statement, which says all red drink mixes are drinkable. Now from the stated facts in the question, we are told that all drink mixes are beverages and all beverages are drinkable. And so the statement, all red mixes are drinkable, is a fact. This means statement 1 and statement 3 are facts. So our correct answer is option C, and that is I and I, I, I only.